What did I just do? What did I just do? Welcome back everybody, and today, as you can see by the title, is the day of the new update. Well, not the new update, but the new snapshot for the new update. And so far, I like what I see. These are all the new items I was able to come across, and uh, I couldn't figure out how to plant these things. I tried mycelium, polyxyl, just regular grass, tilled soil, and all that, and I did build all the portals necessary. This was making too much noise, so I just shut it off. But you can see many new features right here like what's that block and what are these plants and all these other random stuff and why do I have two swords all of those questions can't be answered by this video so to start off why do I have two swords so it may look weird but I'm swinging with my left when I do left click but if I do right click it just blocks but, if I have this hand empty, I can still punch with it, but I can block with my right hand. So, I did set my skin's main hand to left. Just because it can showcase the feature a little more. We can get rid of this tree here. And, this block, oh, you can see what it's doing. It's got a little head inside of it. And this is one of the new mobs. And I'm not too sure where I can find it, but I will show you what it does. So let me just slash game mode zero. No, not nine. Zero. It throws that little ball at me, so I'll get in here with it. So you can see in the top right corner, you need to get out of here that it gives me some sort of effect oh yeah I can also hurt itself with those balls of doom but I'm pretty sure that's how you can see what effect you have on so let me just showcase this feature a little more by splashing myself with some potions so it does not look like the uh, harming does anything actually set is it going through the leaves? It looks like it. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I did not know about that feature. So I think leaves cannot get uh, anything sent through them. Let's try it with the bow. Okay. Um, the bow is glitching out a little bit. Actually, no, it's not. It's using spectral arrows. Spectral arrows, I don't think have a finished texture, because they're purple, and that's usually the unloaded texture. But look what they can do to creepers. If you want a glowing creeper friend, just shoot it with a spectral arrow, and it gets this white outline. Observe. will hurt them, and from farther away they get more of an outline. So I think this might help out with fighting the ender dragon so you can keep a close eye because it also goes through blocks as you can see here it goes through the tree but when it, the effect disappears you can't see it anymore okay so most people think the new slot is a shield it can be but the shield from what I know there will be shields but the shields have not been added in so this right now is just the left-handed slot, if your main hand is right, but right here it's the left, for me. Now I cannot attack with my right-handed sword because I'm left-handed here, and in real life, if you're a sword fighter, you're not going to fight with your non-dominant hand. So I, I block with my right hand, but not with my left. Well, I can block with my left and my right. I can only attack with my left. 
and we're gonna get to the end soon. There's nothing new that I found in the nether, so I just shut that off. I was getting achievements as well. And then there's all of this stuff which is up there. So, this stuff is beet root seeds. Now let's go to game mode zero. And we get beets from it. And I have not seen what beets do. It doesn't look like they feel any hunger at all. Oh, they feel one hunger. Which isn't a lot. But they do feel hunger. And then maybe you can cook them or something. So let's just plant that down for that little edge. Now I already showed you the arrows, and then you can also have special arrows like this. Now the special arrows, let me just show you. Arrows. All have the uh potion effect name the potion name that they have so this is just a water bottle and I'm pretty sure it does nothing but these are pretty much splash potions you can throw with your bow that's pretty much all they are this this and this I have not figured out yet same as this so we're not gonna go over them quite yet end rod I have no idea what it does it's like a pillar of some sort now I have not figured out any crafting recipes for any of these I'm not sure how you get these beet seeds so you won't be getting any crafting recipes from this video because I've not figured them out yet or maybe some of the stuff you have to find in chests Kind of like, uh, what can you find in chests? Um, stuff you can't make yourself, like command blocks. Yeah. You also can't craft obsidian. You have to find it or make it. Not in a crafting window. Something like that. I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure you can make the end stone bricks. So let's just get some end stone. Go over to the crafting table. And I believe it's this. Yep. And then these are a cool building block. You can build pathways out of it and everything. Build houses, abandoned areas. You can enhance your maps with them if you're a map maker. Because these are a very worn out brick as it looks like. So these would be probably used in some sort of dungeon and then I think that's everything so let's go ahead and fight this guy oh wait no I can't I can't fight him I have to uh, heal up real quick oh and sometimes it gives you seeds back which is pretty cool in my opinion And sometimes it doesn't. So my guess is they're not fully matured or something. But let's just go to game mode 1 and get ourselves some healing arrows. Because we can showcase those as well. Let's just get a bunch of them. And usually it's not good to shoot arrows into the sky. But in this case, it's good. Because these are like splash potions you can throw on yourself. It looks like they only do one heart of healing. But that is pretty cool considering that you have a sackable potion. You can't just have their potions that you can have multiple of instead of the regular vanilla 1.8 potions where you can only have one per slot like swords or bows so now let's fight this guy you can also shoot his uh, 
fire is back with kind of like a fire charge that's shot by a gas but you can hear that it has the iron golem sound so that's not a very original sound but maybe they're gonna add that in a future snapshot but now let's go into the end by the way F is the hotkey to put an item into your non-dominant hand slot and the end looks pretty normal right now but you can see that the ender crystals now have cages now let me just press F and you can't fire through these cages so what you have to do is actually climb up using a ladder or something and then break them which may be a pain but it definitely adds to the ender dragon fight and makes it more interesting than just walking around the end and shooting at these as I am doing right now so if you're a really good bowman you actually have to climb the towers and avoid being knocked off by the ender dragon or having him destroy your ladder which I think is pretty cool but once I've destroyed this as you can see he's also firing some sort of fire charges like a gas or a blaze you can also see that there is this thing right here which is the portal to get out but we're not going to use that and as you can see there's new behavior that he hovers over the portal and it does not look like he's taking any effects from the potion he also can uh, anger the enderman if enderman walk up to the portal well the ender dragon is flapping its wings over the portal then they will get angry at the ender dragon and try to fight it but the ender dragon flies high so it cannot get hit by the enderman okay i just killed the ender dragon yippee and it's slowly fading away but also there's another thing that i am pretty sure yep this spawns in once you kill the ender dragon now i'm not too sure what it is but it looks like it has some sort of beacon feature to it. Maybe not. And it you have to find it quickly. But it looks like the end portal. The portal itself, not the frame of the portal. But it doesn't look like you can get in without ender crawls, and that's probably why it is the end. But I'm just going to kill some Endermen real quick. And one cool feature is now you can throw Ender Pearls in creative mode, which I think is very cool, but you can just hit the thing with your Ender Pearl and it'll teleport you to uh, this area here. And I think I know what this is. This is the chorus plant. I might be saying the name completely wrong, but I'm gonna call it the chorus plant because I haven't heard anyone else say the name. Now, I'm not sure what the chorus plant does. Well, let's go to slash game mode, survival. Survival. And I can get the horse flower. What the horse flower does, I have no clue. But it looks like I got horse fruit. What? Oh! Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. So I think I was messing around over. Not over here. 
Oh man, that's cool. That's super cool. Let's let's watch that again. You just destroy it and it all falls down. But when you eat it, it's like a food ender pearl. It just teleports you random places. And I might be wrong here, but I can see the little killer thing there. Are they angry at me? No, don't be angry at me. I'm your friend. Stop. I was slain. But I still think that's a really- oh no. There's no escape. Looks like skeletons may be in a different- yeah. Skeletons have a different texture, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Mr. Skeleton. Hello. Which I think is pretty cool. So, let's- let's test out the creeper explosion. An apple? Oh, he holds his bow! Now that's interesting. He holds his bow for aim. I don't care if he kills me. But that is really cool. That is going to do it for today's episode of Snapshot Reviews. So, like, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day.